there. Now let's zone in on Hong Kong's property market. Li Ka Shing's Cheung Kong, the world's second largest developer, tops estimates by almost twofold, with first half profit rising to one and a half billion US dollars compared to analyst estimates of 780 million. Adrian Ngan is executive director and analyst at CCB International. He has an outperform rating on Cheung Kong. His calls would have generated a 37% return over the last year, making him the second ranked analyst on the stock. Uh, Adrian, very good day. Thanks for joining Morning. us. Uh, yeah. Today, uh, really important to note here: a big part of Chen Kong's earnings right. were revaluation, and in particular, one stock, uh, right. one property. I mean, the former Marine Police headquarters, right. which accounted for 99% yeah. of the revaluation. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, if you look at the earnings of uh, Chen Kong X Hutchison, I mean, uh, eight point something billion. I mean, uh, over three billion actually coming from the revaluation. And uh, so that is why the profit was uh, a big jump. Uh, what's it? Uh, a big jump over the last year. But even you take out that revaluation, you look at the core property development business. Uh, the end profit the uh, first half this year was uh, 5.66 billion, which is still above market expectation. And uh, I think the key reason is that uh, apart from the Hong Kong property project, they do uh, recognize pretty encouraging profit from China. Mm -hmm. I mean, China's uh, been a growing, growing pie in uh, Cheung Kong's earnings, and it, it seems that uh, it's now getting to, up to speed. Okay, and uh, when you say, I mean, the, 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 the property market's been booming in China. It boomed and then it collapsed and now it's booming again. That's right, yeah. uh, is it stable enough uh, from your point of view as someone analyzing a company's earnings? Do you like the way Cheung Kong is playing the China market? Well, China has to be a uh, market that uh, major developers have to uh, participate because the growth in Hong Kong is not sufficient in the medium to long term for growth. I think China is a much bigger market where uh, there, are, there are much uh, more potential to explore. And for major developer, in order to sustain longer term growth, have to be in China. But uh, the strategy, therefore, is very important. The balance sheet is very important because it's a long term battle. And, uh, and, and there's there definitely be ups and downs like last year, and this year it's going up again. So, I mean, long term, I'm totally comfortable, but of course, short term, there will be volatility. Mm -hmm. Companies like Cheung Kong will be able to weather the, 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 the ups and downs. Um, Cheung Kong, uh, or Li Ka Shing in particular, but Cheung Kong as a whole is obviously pretty well connected. Are they getting access to the land sites they need? Good quality land at good prices? Of course, I mean, um, they have the balance sheet, they have the people, they have the expertise and experience in identify good projects and also control costs and uh, sell projects. And uh, I mean, their, their land bank, which is uh, pretty sizable among major Hong Kong developer, was actually accumulated or uh, uh, assembled a few years ago mm -hmm. when, when there's not too many developers fighting for sites. And of course, in the last two years, when there are more comp uh, developers competing for sites, uh, Cheung Kong actually been uh, 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 a little bit more low profile. Mm -hmm. So they actually have a pretty low cost land bank. Uh, if you buy Cheung Kong stock, you're yes. buying a chunk of Hutchison One yeah. Power as well, yes. of course. And that's been weighing on earnings, yeah. uh, really dragging it down, yeah. uh, largely because of the yeah. losses on 3G. Does that concern you? I mean, should Cheung Kong and Hutch yeah. distance themselves a that's little bit? That's the more? only concern of mine. I mean, if you look at like Cheung Kong, Sanong Kai, Sinoland, I mean, well, I call them three major developers in Hong Kong. I mean, you got pure exposure in Hong Kong or even in China in, uh, for Sanong Kai and pure uh, Hong Kong exposure from uh, Sino land. But Cheung Kong, uh, they got a very good exposure in Hong Kong, China property. But uh, they also own 40% in Hutchison, so 40, uh, almost 50% stake in Hutchison. That is a uh, concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's no moves for them to reduce that, I presume. I mean, well, of course, long term, Hutchison could be a very long, a very good investment. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I should note you cover Cheung Kong. You don't cover Hutch, but you have I to don't, yes, cover so. the impact on Cheung Kong.